Hey y'all. So I'm wearing this kind of weird shirt because I had a dance recital earlier. But what this video about is about is the Tonys for tomorrow. So I thought I'd do a little predicting of who will win. And I mean, obviously I don't live in New York, so I haven't seen all shows, so I don't really know. But I'm gonna go by what I, you know, what I know. And so that would generally be musicals. I can't really talk about plays that much because it's a lot harder to, you know, you can't buy the soundtrack to a play. So, best musical, Billy Elliot. I don't, I think maybe it deserves, it would, I think it deserves best musical because as like a whole, I think it was really good. I don't think it deserves best book or best score because if you took those separately, they didn't stand out at all to me. I think as an overall production, it was good, but the sort of individual elements, not so much, because it's up again next to normal Rock of Ages and Shrek the Musical. Don't want Rock of Ages or Shrek the Musical. Next to normal would just be nice, but I don't think it'll win. Best revival of a musical? Oh, now I'm torn. Okay, now that I bought the hair soundtrack, I absolutely love it. Gavin Creel, if you ever see this, I want to marry you. You are so wonderful. I know that you're gay, but it doesn't it doesn't matter. We need, we can get married anyway cuz I love you and you're just amazing. I'm a little bit obsessed. In case you can't tell. So the best revival of a musical would be Guys and Dolls, Hair, Pal Joey, and West Side Story. So I'm kind of torn between Hair and West Side Story. I think it might go to I don't know. It's it's hard to tell. Um, best performance by a leading actress in a musical. Um, I think Alice Ripley will get that one because everyone's like, "Wow, she's a crazy woman, but she's amazing," and all that. And somehow, I did, when I printed this off, I managed to not get best performance by a leading actor in a musical. But I'm kind of thinking it'll be the Billy Elliot boys, like all three of them together. Which is cute, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't really remember who else they're up against. J. Robert Spencer, I know. Okay, best performance by a featured actor in a musical. I don't really know, but I hope it's Will Swenson. Best performance by a featured actress musical. Jen Damiano, Hayden Gwynn, Karen Levo, Martha Plimpton, and Carol Shelley. I think it'll, I think it'll be Karen Olivo, although uh, Jennifer Damiano just amazes me. Like, she's 18, and like, oh, uh, it just, it's so cool, because she's like almost exactly my age, I mean, she's a bit older, but it's like, she did all that already, and she's only 18, it's ridiculous, and she was in Spring Awakening before, and she's just so good, her voice is so pleasant to listen to. Like, I just love every single part she ever sings in Next to Normal, because it just sounds so good. And then, okay, like, so Best Direction Awards, I don't really know, I mean, I don't really know how they, I, since I've never seen the shows, I can't really talk about it. Best Choreography, okay, so there's Carol Armitage for Hair, Andy Blankenbuehler, yay, Andy Blankenbuehler in the Heights, for 9 to 5, Peter Darling for Billy Elliot, and Randy Skinner for White Christmas. Pretty sure it's, like, given that it'll be Billy Elliot. Maybe not, maybe there'll be surprises. But that is one I think they would deserve, because it was, I mean, and I, I'm saying this like I've seen it, I mean, I saw it in West End, not in New York, but I'm assuming that it's relatively the same. Okay, best book of a musical, oh, <laughs> title of show, Hunter Bell, Billy Elliot, Lee Hall, Next to Normal, Brian Yorkie, or Shrek the Musical, David Lindsay Abair. I really, 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 really want I Love Show to win this Tony Award so much. And it's so special because it's Hunter, and Hunter's obsessed with the Tonys and everything. Oh, and it would be the best thing ever. And I could just imagine, like, in the next I Love Show show video that they would do, he would just have it with him all the time. But anyway, I really hope it's not Billy Elliot because, like, it just was not that great. Like, the script, it just, I don't know. And I mean, next to normal Shrek, I can't really talk, but I really hope it's Ted Love's show. I don't know which one will win, though. 
first original score, nine to five, Dolly Parton. What? <laughs> Billy Elliot, Elton John, and Lee Hall. Next to Normal, Con Tom Kitt and Brian Yorkie. Shrek the Musical, David Lindsay Bear, and Janine Tesori. It will probably be Billy Elliot, even though it really wasn't good. I hope for Next to Normal because it is good. I love Next to Normal. Okay, Best Orchestrations. I don't really know the difference between Best Orchestrations and Best Original Score, so I can't really talk about that. And then the rest of them are like design ones, which I guess from seeing pictures I might be able to talk about, but not really. Um, I don't understand why Billy Elliot is nominated for Best Costume Design. I guess maybe that part with the dresses, that part was cute. Um, and then Best Special Theatrical Event, there's Liza's at the Palace, Slava's Snow Show, Soul of Shaolin, and You're Welcome America, Final Night with George Bush. I think it's probably close maybe between Liza's at the Palace and Will Ferrell's show, the George Bush one. I don't know. I don't know which one's going to win. So, I'm super excited and I'm just going to have such a Broadway filled day tomorrow. Alex and I are just going to like make brownies and listen to soundtracks all day long and people are going to come over here. We're going to watch Broadway related videos. The Tony! I wish they were four hours long instead of three hours long. I'm excited for performances too. Like I want, I I can't I, I can't wait for the hair performance. I really wish. Uh, it's like these shows they always want to do like the meaningful number, but I just want them to sing hair. I don't want them to sing like where do I go, even though it's a good song. I just want them to sing like the ridiculously fun ones, like hair. And my other favorite right now, I got life. It's just every single time I listen to it, I just have to dance like crazy because Gavin Creel is so much fun. You should definitely, I would suggest, anyone who's a fan of musicals to buy the new Hair soundtrack. I never really heard a lot from the old ones, so I can't talk about whether it's better or not, but it's awesome. And on their website, it's so cute. They have, it's like Meet the Tribe, and it has little videos of like a bio about all of them. And they're so ridiculous. Like Gavin Creel just talks about this restaurant that people should go to. And like Will Swenson, he's like, okay, so my hair bio. So, you know, when I was born, I had a lot of hair, and, and I kept it short through elementary school, and then I let it grow out and everything. And it's so cute. He just talks about his hair throughout his whole life. And then the guy at the end is just like, um, well, that's great, but we needed your bio for the musical hair. And he's just like... It's so funny. And then uh, one of the other people, I think it was named Megan Lawrence. She plays the mother. She's like, hi, I'm Megan Lawrence, and I play Sheila. And the guy holding the camera was like, um, no, Megan, you're not Sheila. And she's like, I didn't get it. Um, am I the understudy? And he's like, uh, no, I don't think so. It's so funny. And she, like, freaks out and runs out of the room. And then he, like, follows her into the bathroom. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I'm so pleased with just the whole thing. I love it so much. I just love having new shows to obsess over. It's so much fun. So, yeah, I'm excited for performances. <laughs> it bugs me that Tyler's show doesn't get to perform a number. And then they're having like performances from traveling shows like Legally Blonde and Jersey Boys and some other one. I don't remember. Possibly like Wicked or something. <sighs> I just don't know. Don't know. But I'm excited. I could see all this lovely theater people like Kristen Chenoweth and Nicole Kidman is presenting an award. I love Nicole Kidman so much. So this video is kind of probably pretty long. So I'm gonna let y'all go and hope that you'll have salad with Tony Season's Tony Seasoning on it. <laughs> I love show you. are so clever. Anyway, have fun watching the Tonys, y'all. Bye!